Uh, take me back to the circumstances of how you guys at Overbrook ended up playing against Villanova University and Bob Schaefer. Yeah, well, one day I decided that we had not much opposition to play against in practice uh, because our team was so good. So I thought maybe we could play uh, scrimmage Villanova. And I called Al Severance and uh, he said, yeah, we'd love to scrimmage you because we're going to be playing against a team that has a seven-footer. And uh, it would be a good experience to play against Will. Uh, so that's how we got to them. You told your kids that you're going to play against Nova, and, and what were their thoughts? Uh, Al Severns didn't tell them we were yeah, going to scrimmage them. And uh, none of the players knew who they were going to scrimmage that morning. And we walked in, and they saw a seven-footer in the name of Will Chamberlain with some young men. And uh, they were, got really excited that uh, they were going to meet somebody who's going to be a wonderful player in the future. Give me an idea of what, how that game turned out. Was it very competitive? or how it, it was very competitive. We played six quarters, and we didn't keep score except my uh, managers kept score. And uh, we did very well against them. I don't want to embarrass Villanova, but uh, it was a great scrimmage, and uh, they were all excited to meet Wilt and felt that he was a wonderful person and handled himself beautifully with them. And uh, we beat them, of course. <laughs> Um, who were some of the players on that, that Villanova team, if, if you recall? Well, I recall Bob Schaefer, and uh, it's hard to remember some of them, but they were all excited that uh, they could meet Will and the Overbrook team, and uh, it's something they would remember for the rest of their lives. And uh, they even made some stories in the newspapers about these scrimmage. Was there any talk about them attempting to recruit Wilt when he, when he got there, or was it just a, a scrimmage for the purpose of helping them? Out? It was a scrimmage for the purpose of helping them, but Villanova, as well as 100 and other 20 schools, uh, wanted to recruit Wilt to go to their colleges. Now, there has been much said about um, colleges offering you a job at coaching, if you were if if you were to persuade Wilt to go to their school, how much truth is to that? Well, there's a lot of truth to that. I was going to go to Kansas with Fog Allen. Uh, Fog Allen wanted me to be assistant if Wilt would come, and uh, unfortunately, Fog Allen had to retire because he was 70 years old, and uh, I decided not to go at that point. I was only going to go because of Fog Allen. Wow, legendary Fog Allen. Things change. The, uh, there's a, also a lot of talk about colleges offering Wilt uh, money, and treasures. All of the colleges offered something. And uh, I even wrote in my book that I think the, uh, the outstanding sports players in the colleges should get paid or some, should get some compensation for, uh, for playing for them either having their parents come to the games free and providing transportation for them, or after they practiced, give them something to eat. They had to pay for their own food at that point. And I didn't think it was fair. And I really think that those outstanding athletes should be compensated some way. And, um, the, the word is that both did end up getting receiving all sorts of compensation and support. Um, what do you know about that? Well, I can't really talk about it in national news, but all of the colleges offered something, and Kansas was one of the teams that, uh, by their boosters, uh, enticed them to come. Okay, thank you. Okay? It wasn't the best school in the country, but it ended up, I met President Reagan in the Rose Garden and was selected as the best school in the country after 15 years of being principal. What do you think about today's uh, school district and how funding is troubling and things of that nature? I think it's terrible. I think they're, they're taking money away from the teachers and the programs and uh, the kids need it and uh, whatever they're doing. What would you do 
differently? They couldn't do anything differently unless the governor funded the schools. And I, I as part of the administration and teachers, we get the teachers together and go to the governor and say, this is what you got to do, list A, B, C, D, E, and help us out, or else all these kids are going to go down, down the drain. So she has a few questions for you. Coach. Okay. Um, when you answer, just continue to look at her. I figure she's much more attractive to look at than me, although I tend to say I'm kind of handsome myself. But I have to well, you're me. both nice looking people. <laughs> okay, Coach, first question. Who coached Overbrook High School before you? There was a fellow by the name of Warren Weiler who was the coach before me. And in fact, I played at Overbrook and he was my coach. And I was on a team that won 20 straight. It was 15 Jewish kids on the team. We won 20 straight and lost the championship by two points to a fellow who's a dear friend of mine and lives right upstairs from me. Uh, I was playing basketball in 1947, and he was in his 50s then. So I would say he's about 110 years old now, wherever he might be. <laughs>